Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to flash CyanogenMod Mod 6 onto your HTC Evo 4G, uh, not using ROM Manager. So, I had a lot of problems using ROM Manager, whoops, a lot of problems using ROM Manager, so I decided that, you know, I'm just not going to use it anymore. So, this is to show you how to flash ROMs not using ROM Manager. So, first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and, um, Go to cyanogenmod.com. So, internet. Uh, my phone does not stay plugged in, sorry. Alright, um, what you're going to want to do is go to cyanogenmod. 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 Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my laptop, it's kind of hard. Alright, so that's your cyan. You're at cyanogenmod. Go to downloads. Go to stable mod. I recommend stable mods, especially for your first ROM. It's just. Well, it's a little bit more stable than the others, so go ahead and go to Stable Mod. Scroll down to whatever phone you have. I'm going to go to the HTC Evo. So, go to the HTC Evo. Alright, now the two things you're going to need to download are Update CN 6.1.2 Supersonic Sign Zip, and that's going to be the actual ROM that you're going to download on your phone. And then the other thing is Gaps Add on HTPI. And you need to get that for all of your Google apps, like the Market, any any Google app that you want. So go ahead and download those two things. Um, you're going to have to have a CyanogenMod account to do that. Or I guess profile is more like it. Um, basically all you're going to need is your email, a password, and a username. So do that. And once you have downloaded those two things, go to your phone. Make sure it's plugged in. Uh, lock. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure USB debugging is checked, so go menu, settings, scroll down to applications, development, and make sure USB, USB debugging is checked. So, once that's checked, go to your phone, make sure it's on disk drive, not charge only, okay? So, disk drive. Make sure it stays plugged in too. So if you're having trouble with your charger like I am, just put on a flat surface and that should work. Alright, so I'm going to put my phone on disk drive real quick. That might help. Okay. Disk drive. Okay. So I'm already on Cyanogen Mod, so this is just basically a tutorial on how I did it. So, Alright, so basically whenever you put on disk drive, this is what's going to come up. You're going to go to Open Folder to View Files click on that and basically it's just going to be your this is basically your SD card so um, it's going to be all these files all you're going to need to do is transfer both of these two files that you downloaded the gaps HTPI put that on your phone just drag it over and it'll copy it over there just give it a second alright there you go and the next thing is update CM 6.1.2 and drag that over to your SD card. Oops, I already have it on here, so basically it's just going to do the same thing as the gaps. And what you're going to do is just make sure you check it over here, make sure it's on there. I have a couple other uh, packages on here, you're not going to need any of those, but um, update CM 6.1.2, make sure that's on there, and gaps HDPI. Those are the only two things you're going to need, so once you have those on there, go to your phone and take it off disk drive. Just turn that off and it'll say preparing SD card, USB connected, preparing SD card. Alright, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is turn off your phone, power off your, power off your phone. Wait a second. Alright. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to power into HBoot. So you're going to hold the volume down and the power button at the same time and just hold it down until the screen comes up. It's going to do a little SD check. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to recovery. Um, you scroll down to recovery using the volume down button and then select it by pressing the power button. Alright. And that what's going to do is going to put you into your recovery image. Um, I have Almond Raw recovery image, so it, mine might look a little different from yours. You're probably running Clockwork Pod, so uh, it doesn't really matter. But all right, first thing what you're going to do is make sure you do this. Go to Backup and Restore. Backup, Restore. I think it's the third option, or it's the third option on uh, 
on Almond Raw, but just go to Backup Restore, and then go to NAND Backup. And basically what that's going to do is just back up everything on your phone. And just click on it using the power button, and it's just going to back up your phone. I'm not going to show you that because it, it takes a minute, but make sure you do that just to be safe. Alright, then what you're going to do is go down to Wipe. This is going to wipe everything on your phone, but don't worry. Um, if you did a backup, or basically what you're going to do is just wipe your phone. I'll, I'll give you instructions in a minute to show you how to get some of your stuff back. But wipe your phone. Make sure you do that, otherwise you might get in a boot loop. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that in a, tell you about that in a second. But go ahead and wipe your phone. Make sure you do that. And then what you're going to do is go up to Flash Zip from SD card. Click on that. And then in here, you should find Update CM 6.1.2 Supersonic Sign Zip. And what you're going to do is you're going to select that by the power button. And basically, it's just going to go and flash the ROM through your phone. And then power off, and then reboot your phone. And you'll be running on CyanogenMod. And basically, I'm just going to show you what that looks like. What CyanogenMod looks like. Um, it's really easy to do. It'll take a minute, so be patient, but... It's really easy to do. Just follow those instructions and you'll be fine. Alright, give it a second. It does take a minute to load up, so just be patient. And the first time after you flash the ROM, it will take a minute to uh, boot up your phone. A little bit longer than usual, so don't freak out or anything. It's totally normal. Just give it time. Um, just give it a second. And the first time I downloaded or flashed this ROM, I'll show you in a second, but um, what it did was I... I forgot to wipe my phone and reset it to factory reset or whatever it says on uh, on Clockwork Mod Recovery and in a second whenever it boots up a little bit I'll sh tell you what happened but basically in the boot screen it just kept popping up over and over again it never finished booting up and so if you have problem with that just take out the battery and then go back and wipe your phone again and that worked for me so it should work for you Give it a second. This is taking forever. Alright, here we go. Alright, so this is what it looks like. So if this comes up, you know you're running Cyan Engine Mod. Alright, if this just keeps coming up over and over again, then you know you're in a boot loop and just do exactly what I just told you to do. And this is also going to take a little bit longer the first time you flash this ROM. So just be patient. Alright, so this is... Not what it looks like, it's not the same background, but this is basically it. So this is CyanogenMod. Mod. Alright, so if everything is downloaded, fine. What you're not going to have is you're not going to have your market or any of your Google apps or anything. So what you're going to do again is power off your phone. Power off. Phone will shut off, okay. Alright, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to download the Google add-ons that you downloaded earlier. So go back into HBoot, hold volume down and power at the same time, and the screen will come up. Do this little check. All right, now what you can do is you can go back into recovery using volume down and power. Click on it. Give it a second, and remember my recovery is a little bit different. I'm using Almond Raw, so. If you have it, then you'll know what to do, but you're most likely running on Clockwork Mod. Alright, so now what you're going to do is go back to Flash Zip from SD Card, and then go to Gaps HTPI, and you're just going to install that just like you did the ROM. Uh, it's just going to take you through it, and then reboot your phone. It'll, do, it'll reboot your phone automatically after it installs, I think. Either that, it'll take you back to this screen, uh, and you're just going to click Reboot System now. So, go ahead and do that after you flash uh, the Google add-ons. And uh, it might take a little bit longer again to uh, to boot your phone. Just as, yeah, it might take a little bit longer. So, just be patient and uh, you'll be fine. So, Alright, um, yeah, just let it reboot. So my computer keeps going off. Every time I hold up my phone, for some reason the charger is just horrible, so it disconnects. I don't know, it's really aggravating. But, uh, yeah, so, just let it reboot. 
I might edit this out, but if I don't, then I didn't, so... Whatever. Waiting. It's kind of a long video. Sorry about that. But, um, I wanted to get it done right, so... Waiting. And whenever you flash the Google add-ons, you don't have to do another, um... You don't have to wipe again, and you don't have to... Uh, back up. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna boot up again. Again, it might take a little bit longer to boot this time than it usually does, so just give it a second. Give it a second. Alright. Alright, so now what it's gonna do is when you unlock your phone, it should ask you to go ahead and whenever you got your first phone, it should, uh, Never mind. Um, it will ask you to go through the whole Google thing, your Google account, whatever, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to get all your contacts back. Uh, it will give you your market, and I think it will actually give you your messages back, but it, you won't have most of your apps, I don't think. But uh, what you can do, if you're rooted, go ahead and download from Foreshared before... Well, I'm not going to tell you about that, but whatever. Um... So basically, you're on CyanogenMod, Mod. You have all your Google apps after that. And which the cool things about CyanogenMod, Mod, I'm just gonna run you through a couple cool little features, I guess. Um, you will have FM radio, so that's nothing new to you. But um, basically, there's a lot of customization options on your phone now. Like um, I don't know, you can change the color of your toolbar. You can change. There's a lot more background images that you can do. Um, it's a lot faster, a lot smoother than the stock ROM, so that's really cool. Um, one thing you will not have with CyanogenMod is you will not have WiMAX or 4G. But um, I guess, I mean, that's not really a big deal to me because I'm not in a 4G area. But if you're on 4G, that's probably not. You probably won't be a huge fan of this ROM, but it's a lot smoother and a lot quicker than the stock ROM. So well, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cut this video. Um, that's how you do download Cyanogen Mod without ROM Manager, and I hope you liked it. Uh, rate, I guess, and comment. If you had any questions, go ahead and ask me, comment me, and I'll give you an answer back. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching. See ya.